There's a new computer game called Far Cry 4 coming out soon, and in part of this computer game, you can drive around in a tuk-tuk and shoot stuff. I quite like the sound of that, and I thought that should not be confined to just being in a computer game. So I've been on eBay and bought this. It's quite fun to drive. But if we're going to weaponise this thing, we need to rip out the puny engine and it gets something bigger, like a sports bike. So it's got a bit of performance too. So to start with, we're going to take the lid off this thing, take the engine out, so we've just got like a rolling chassis that we can then put the sports bike engine onto. <laughs> Do a second person here at the moment. Right. There we go, it's a bit mucky. As if someone's driven it for a field. <laughs> there we have a naked tuk tuk. Now just gotta strip the bike and then kind of push the two together somehow. It's about this point I always question, will it ever run again? Right now, just got to put the engine in the chassis. Shouldn't be too hard, surely. We're getting there. We've got an engine. We've got a radiator. Got a little top-up tank. But you know, I ain't finished yet, have I? Now one of the quirks of the Tuk Tuk was the controls. You used to change the gears by turning the whole handlebar thing. It was absolutely rubbish. But rather than just ripping it all out, I was gonna chop the ends of the handlebars off and then stick some newish bits that we can connect all our super bike stuff onto. And then we can keep this center console bit. Cause I quite like the look of that. So for the gears, I've put the uh, gear shifter off the motorbike, kind of welded that onto the floor here. And then we'll have to put like a rod system that goes through the frame and then connects onto the engine. And it'll be lovely. Now the brakes, the front brake stays with it, not touch that. The rear brake. The master cylinder that was on it is knackered, it's all dried up, the seals are all gone. So I've whipped the uh, brake cylinder off the bike and then we'll just fix that down in its place. Stick a little reservoir bowl somewhere we can get to it and then just link it up. I'm working on my tug tug baby! Control cables out now because the engine's further away to the handlebars than what it was. Everything has to be made a little bit longer, so I've made this little junction box here where I can intercept them all. And then we've got a clutch, two throttle cables, and a choke, and then you just pull them in. And it works a treat. Now then, could do the same thing with a wiring loom. <laughs> wiring off the list, that's all done. Two metres of extra 27 core cable. Now I've just got to do the rear axle, which I would have done first, but I've been waiting for bits. So hopefully the engine's in the right place, 
it all connects up properly. Stance, as they say. So there we are, we've got drive, we've got a back axle, mount brake, sprocket, all that, got a little petrol tank. Um, so just a case of lowering the body back over it then. Oh, 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 it's gonna rip! Lids on, just got to redo all like, the roll cage and stuff. I want to beef it up a bit, and the last person made a bit of a mess of it. Tucked up. Now I've made a little engine cover, but I'm going to cover that in something because the seats need recovering because it looks like someone's been murdered on them. Um, now then, that's that bit done. It does work, but you won't see that till the last video. The next video, we've got to cover the shooting bit. That's what we're doing. We need to shoot out this thing. We need to clap this thing in weaponry. 